Hi, I'm Don from Don Drones On. I don't understand it. I've reported problems with the drone site selection tool updates in the past, but now it's way out of date, again. Let's get into this. The NRC drone site selection tool is the only reference map that Transport Canada has that is in any way helpful for drone pilots. And yet, it's out of date. In May of 2020, I noticed a few things missing and found out they had not been updating the map for six months due to some technical glitch. This was the email response I received from Transport Canada, indicating that they knew about it and have now fixed it. Later in the year, I noticed that they hadn't updated the Red Deer Control Zone class when it changed from Class E to Class D. It was updated in the Designated Airspace Handbook, or the DAH, on November the 5th, but not updated on the Drone Site Selection Tool until January of 2021, two months later. And I see today, April 28th, that the updates from the April 22nd cycle of CFS and DAH document changes have not been updated either. Here's some examples. The DAH from April 22nd announces a new Military Class F Advisory Zone, CYA515, near Thunder Bay, Ontario. Here it is in the Drone Pilot Canada app. And here's the drone site selection tool. Nada. And the new aerodromes appearing in the CFS series from April 22nd. I counted seven new ones. None of these are showing in the drone site selection tool. Example. CGF-7, a new registered aerodrome near Barrie, Ontario. And actually, this one was flagged as new way back in the February 25th, 2021 CFS. Here it is showing in the Drone Pilot Canada app. And here's an empty spot on the DSST map two months later. One more example, although I think you can see my point already. Here's an aerodrome that has become certified used to be registered, now it's certified, and updated in the CFS effective April 22nd, 2021. Here it is in the Drone Pilot Canada app, showing as certified. And here it is in the DSST. Oops, still showing as registered. Now look, I personally update the Drone Pilot Canada data following the 56-day cycle for Nav Canada updates. They release the CFS and DAH document series with their updates 10 days before their effective date. So there's plenty of time to make the updates in our database. It's a lot of work, and I can't say that I love it, but it really doesn't take that long. And I stake my reputation on having accurate and up-to-date information in Drone Pilot Canada. Why can't the NRC with all the fancy database transfers from Nav Canada stay up to date. And like I said, this is the second time that I've noticed the problem happening. The first time, I just quietly reported the problem to Transport Canada. This time, I'm actually disgusted. There's no excuse. This is somebody's job. They want drone pilots to follow the rules, but the only available public map is out of date? And I'm sorry, they can't just glibly say that the NRC tool is for reference only and drone pilots should use VFR maps and the CFS and DAH as official references. Sorry, most VFR navigation charts aren't updated more than annually. And the CFS and DAH documents? Well, they're fine to look something up that you know exists but you can't expect someone to rifle through a 500 page document looking at all the lat long references to see if they're near an airport, oh, that they don't even know exists. That's just ridiculous. Sorry, Transport Canada claims the drone site selection tool is quote, for your convenience only. But realistically, if Drone Pilot Canada didn't exist, the NRC site would be the only game in town and yet it's out of date. So there you have it, drone pilots in Canada. The NRC drone site selection tool is once again lagging behind in CFS 
and DAH data revisions. Drone Pilot Canada, on the other hand, is accurate and up to date. And if you do find an error in Drone Pilot Canada, I'm not perfect, I'll fix it, usually within 24 hours. Compare that to Nav Canada. I reported a contact number error to them back in March. Ten days later, I got an email saying, oh, they've raised a ticket. I'm sorry, I think they can do better than that. Well, that's it. That's all. Thanks for listening. Safe and happy flying.